Okay, welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to multiply decimals. And it's fairly straightforward. First thing you do is you count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal point. In this, we have one, two, then we have three. So I'm gonna write a three here. Okay, that's step one. Next, you just multiply as if there are no decimals. So it will be 841 times five, okay? So that is step two. You just multiply normally. Five times one is five. That's 20. Carry the two. That's 40 plus the two. That's 4205. And then all you do for step three is, remember the, the original three that we counted, you want the same number to the right of the decimal. So in order to have three to the right of the decimal, you can start counting from the far right. One, two, three. So the decimal goes right there. So it is four and two hundred and five thousandths. Okay, so let's work another example. Okay, step one, remember we're gonna count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal. We have one, two, three. I'll write that right there. Now we just multiply as if there are no decimals, okay? 213 times 38, eight times three is what? Uh, 24, carry the two, eight times one is eight, so that will be 10 when you add the two, and then that is 16 plus one from the 10 here, so that is 17. And then now let's multiply the three, that is 9, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. Add these together, we have 4, 9, 10, bring over the 1, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so now we go back to our original number, which is 3. Yes, it is there. 3, and we need 3 numbers to the right of the decimal. So we're going to count from the far right, 1, two, three, and so here again, it would be, it goes right there, so it'd be eight and 94 thousandths. Let's work one more example. Okay, step one, let's count how many are to the right of the decimal. We have one, two, three, four. I'll write the four right there, just to show you. Now we multiply it as if there are no decimals, eight times seven, and eight times seven is 56. So now we need four numbers to the right of the decimal. So we have one, two, three, four. Right here is a decimal. So it is 56 ten thousandths. Okay, so in summary, let's go back to this problem. You count first. Step one is you count how many numbers are to the right of the decimals. And then you multiply as if there are no decimals. And then once you get that answer, you just go back and make sure you have the same number that you accounted originally to the right of the decimal point. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.